siku 62 kabla ya kinyang'anyiro cha urais kuna kizungumkuti kuhusiana na mpangilio wa kutangaza matokeo ya mchuano huo tume ya uchaguzi nchini IBC ikirejea mahakamani kukata rufaa dhidi ya uamuzi wa majaji wa mahakama kuu waliotoa mwezi jana katika uamuzi huo mahakama kuu ilisema matokeo ya kura ya urais yatakayotangazwa na wasimamizi wa uchaguzi katika maeneo bunge 290 yatakuwa rasmi na hayawezi kusahihishwa au kukarabatiwa ila tu kufuatia agizo la mahakama uamuzi IBC nahimiza majaji watano wa mahakama ya rufaa waubatilishe what the constituency returning officer does and the ability that is donated to him by the constitution and the law is to make an announcement of the results that there is a distinction my lord in law between the term announcement and a declaration of election results kulingana na IBC kipenge 138 sehemu ya tatu cha cha katiba ni bayana kuhusu mpangilio wa uchaguzi wa urais huku ikisisitiza jukumu la kumtangaza mshindi wa kinyang'anyiro hicho ni mwenyekiti wa tume baada ya matokeo hayo kujumlishwa kupigwa darubini na kuhalalishwa until the actions directed by article 138 article 138 3c are carried out there is no result in the presidential election msimamo unaopigiwa debe na mwanasheria mkuu profesa Gidhu Mwegai the government then set in motion the recruitment of a new commission in order to bring the nation together behind the commission and now we are told even this new one we don't trust it however if they hire a former village chief to count the vote in Dumberi <laughs> we trust the chief the, we want the chief to declare the final result there and we trust him we don't know him he's never been vetted we don't know how he left service i am saying to you my lord this is a narrative that cannot be allowed to hold sway hata hivyo kulingana na jopo la mawakili wa mrengo wa upinzani likiongozwa na seneta James Orengo mabadiliko kwenye sheria za uchaguzi yamewapa wasimamizi wa uchaguzi katika vituo vyote 1041 na, na maeneo bunge 290 uwezo wa kutangaza matokeo ili kuepuka udanganyifu kesi hii itaendelea kusikizwa hapo kesho huku uamuzi wa majaji Milton Makandia Agnes Murgo, Kathurima Mtoinoti, William Ooko na Patrick Yage ukitarajiwa katika muda wa majuma matatu. Haya yanajiri huku tume ya IBC ikimpiga kalamu mkurugenzi wa ununuzi Lewi Aura kwa madai ya kutatiza na kuchelewesha utoaji wa zabuni muhimu ikiwemo ununuzi wa karatasi za kupigia kura. Kutimuliwa kwa Aura kuna wadia juma moja tu baada ya mkurugenzi wa teknolojia ya kisasa ICT James Muhati kuagizwa kuchukua likizo ya lazima kwa madai ya kukwaza shughuli za kuipekua mitambo ya tume Francis Gashuri Citizen Pashe